I'll show you how to create a squash and stretch effect for your jump and landing in Unreal Engine 5. We'll implement it in a way which works for both 3D meshes and 2D sprites at the same time. I will demonstrate this in a fresh project using the third person template. The first thing we need to do is get the relative scale 3D of our mesh on begin play and save it in a vector variable called base scale. Create a custom event and call it jump squeeze. Add a new timeline called jump squeeze anim and connect the line from jump squeeze to play from start on the timeline. Double click the timeline and create a flow track called alpha. Create a key for time 0 and value 0. Create another key for time 0 0.025 and value of 1. Then lastly create another key for time 0.25 and value of 0. We then also need to set the length of the timeline to 0.25 to match the last key. We then call set relative scale 3D on the mesh whenever our timeline updates. Pull out the lerp vector node from new scale 3D. Connect the alpha from our timeline to this alpha. For the A value we use our base scale as the starting point. For the B value we want to copy the base scale and multiply it. We can promote the bottom vector to a variable and call it jump squeeze factor. Compile to be able to set the default value. Here we basically put in a factor for how small or big we would like the mesh to get during the animation. If we put 0.6, 0.6 and 1.2 for example, the mesh will be squeezed to 60% of its original size on the x and y and stretched to 120 of its size on the z axis. We can then simply look for the jump function and call our jump squeeze from here. To make sure this only fires off when we successfully jumped and not while we are airborne, we can add a check for is moving on ground here. But the default jump feels really bad and floaty so we can just set the gravity scale to 2.5 and the jump z velocity to 1200 to make it feel a bit better instantly. Next we want to add our landing squish. We can simply copy and paste our setup from the jump squeeze and create a new custom event connected to it. We then also need to change the factor variable. I'll use 1.1, 1.1 and 0.6 here, but feel free to experiment with these values. We then need to add the event on landed which is part of the character class and call our land squish from here. These simple tweaks already make our jump feel a lot more animated and impactful. If you want to update the speed at which the animation plays out without having to change the timeline each time, you can just use the set play rate method on the timeline. Setting a play rate of 2.0 for example will make it play out twice as fast. Again, feel free to play around with these values until you find what works best for your character. If we are working with a 2D sprite instead of a mesh, we can set it up in a similar way and only need to tweak two things. On our blueprint, the only thing that changes is that we set the scale on our sprite instead of the mesh. Another thing you need to look out for is the pivot mode for your sprites. This needs to be set to bottom center for all of your affected sprites to get the best result. Otherwise the character will start scaling inward to the middle which looks really bad. If you want to know how to create 3D movement for a 2D sprite, check out this video.